Hello, everyone, and welcome to Exec Connect, your monthly global update from Jeunesse World Headquarters. I'm your host, Kasaya J. It is my pleasure to introduce you to our special guest tonight. Joining us is our General Manager of Brazil, Marcel Sajabak. Hi, Marcel. Hello, Kasaya. Hello, everyone. Boa noite a todos do Brasil. It's a pleasure to be here again in this special month to us. It is a very special month and one we're looking forward to hearing about tonight. So it's such a pleasure to have you joining us. Also joining us is our general manager of Australia, New Zealand and Fiji, Rachel McVinich. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Kasaya. Hi, everyone. It's great to be on the call tonight. So great to see you. Lots of big things happening in your region. We're very much looking forward to your update as well. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Also joining us is our director of European sales, Alex Grapov. Hi, Alex. Hello, Jeunesse world, and hello, our amazing Europeans. So good to be here. Thanks. It's so good to have you. And of course, here to give us all of the latest news and these exciting updates is our featured speaker, our chief visionary officer, Scott Lewis. Welcome to the show, Scott. Thank you, Kasaya. Good evening. How you doing? Fantastic. Always great to see you. I'm very excited. I've been following all your progress. You're flying all over the place. Tons yeah. of stuff happening. It's going to be a good show. Yeah, we've been on the move, that's for sure, and it's good to be uh, recording here from home, coming to you live from my home, and it feels good to say that, but I want to welcome the entire Jeunesse family to this month's edition of Exec Connect. We've got a, an international flavor, as you can see, by some of our guest panelists, who I'm so pleased and honored to have with us on this month's Hangout, but one exciting time for the company. We've been globe trotting and running all around the world with events happening you know we've really kicked off this year 2017 in a big way all kinds of exciting events taking place all around the world big and small but very much global and that's the beauty of this global platform that we've created with Jeunesse unparalleled in the industry as far as the diversification of what we set we've set all around the world and the growth the, the exponential growth that we continue to experience so many new emerging markets which makes me really excited about the rest of this year and into the future just great things happening all around the world it was great to be back in the office uh, yesterday, today, to be able to see those smiling faces again, and it, it's just great to be able to walk around World HQ here in Orlando and just get to see everybody who's contributing. So I want to thank all the corporate family, not just here in Orlando, but Jeunesse West all around the world, uh, to supporting all of you, our Jeunesse leaders and distributors and customers um, in over 141 countries around the world. We're coming off a huge month of March, great growth in many markets around the world. I want to focus on 10% or higher growth, but you can see Spain was up 13% February to March, Germany up 14%. You'll sense a, a European flavor as we build up for Amsterdam, the regional convention. Uh, Denmark, 17%. Ecuador, 22%. New Zealand was up 25%. Switzerland, 32%. Austria was up 42%. And then our top three markets of growth from February to March, Italy was up 46%. Today standing as the number one market for Europe, South Korea, coming out of their six-year anniversary and star event that I had the honor of attending a couple of weeks ago was up 62%. I sent some big things on the horizon for the Korean market for sure. And then our number one growth market, February to March, was the market of Turkey, up 581%. We've got our new general manager, Devrim, who's doing great things in the market, a lot of uh, new leadership advancement. I believe we had a new diamond in Turkey this past month that's gone into his qualification period. So uh, really big things happening all around the world. Also want to announce, we like to grow people within the company here at Jeunesse. And I think it's so important that Jeunesse is more than just a job. It's a career path. And that's how we try to, to groom the different um, members of our corporate family, whether they're in the shipping department, customer service, programming, IT, um, sales, marketing, operations, doesn't really matter. We offer so many opportunities for growth in Jeunesse, and it's something I'm really proud of is to be able to grow people in this company and to see them develop themselves, not just professionally, but personally. And uh, I'd like to make a special announcement. You may have seen the email blast, but I'm so pleased and excited to announce 
that we have promoted our Vice President of Latin America, Miguel Baez, to our new President of Latin America. Miguel's been doing great things throughout the region, lots of events. He's been on the move nonstop. Aside from Brazil, he stopped by Argentina, some things starting to fall into place there as we prepare to launch that market potentially later this year. So a lot of work being done there. But want to congratulate Miguel for his appointment as president of Latin America. This is a guy that has a servant's heart. He's truly committed to all of you and supporting all of you to be successful in Latin America. So congratulations, Miguel. Um, strategically, you know, we've talked about at the different events around the world over the past really six months, we've talked about taking this brand, this multi-billion dollar brand of Jeunesse and taking it mainstream, truly making Jeunesse a household name. And um, was really honored to be featured on the cover of Capital Magazine in Hong Kong. It's um, basically Hong Kong's most prominent financial uh, financial magazine. We had a full, I believe it was four or five, maybe it was six page spread on Jeunesse. And this is circulating all over Hong Kong. In fact, I've heard they've just cleared out the, the bookstore shelves and that it's actually very difficult to get your hands on this magazine. We're also featured with the magazine in over 100 subway stations throughout Hong Kong. So uh, if, if they didn't know about Jeunesse in Hong Kong before, they certainly know about us now because we are all over the market. And it's just a great credibility piece for all of you, for the leaders, whether you're building in Hong Kong or Chinese markets or even in your home markets, it's just another tangible, credible piece uh, to validate everything we stand for as a company, as a brand, as a movement. Uh, another piece of mainstream media branding that we've engaged, a strategic initiative in Korea, South Korea, we have officially sponsored FC Seoul, which is the premier soccer club or football club in Korea. There's just some pictures of our general manager, Kelsey Kwan, and I believe the commissioner there for FC Seoul Soccer. We've got the Jeunesse logo right there, right behind the goal, as you can see front and center there on the bottom. So anytime there's a major um, um, piece of action happening in the game, a shot on goal, a score on goal, there's a Jeunesse logo. So really excited about that opportunity. Big things happening in Korea, but more to come. Um, on this next slide. So um, it's, hard to, it's hard to keep up with all these events, frankly. We've been on the move since after Vegas, really. And it's, it's funny, I was joking with some of the guys here in the Hangout. It's still kind of in that, in that phase where you wake up in the morning and you really don't know where you are. But I do remember being in Seoul, Korea for the Star event. It was chilly, but it was our first time being back in Korea for, I believe, three years. So it'd been quite a while. It was great to get back to Korea. I believe we had almost, almost 2,000 people at this event, and it was incredible. It was the Star event. And these are some pictures from that event and look at what's happened in Korea, our second growth market from February to March up 62%. A lot of, you know, very prominent successful leaders are just joining Jeunesse. We've got some new teams kicking off. I met with quite a few new leaders that have been in this industry, some with local companies, some with international that have gr had great success in this industry. So big things on the horizon for Korea. I want to wish them a happy sixth anniversary. I'm expecting this to be a huge growth year for the South Korean market, which I believe is the number three or four direct selling market in the world. Special thank you to our general manager, Kelsey Kwan, who's just doing a tremendous job there to support all of you leaders there that are out there making it happen. So congratulations to Kelsey, the entire management team, and all our leaders in Korea. At that very same weekend, I know, I believe uh, William was with us in Korea. He managed to get over to Bangkok when we were en route to Hong Kong and was there for the STAR event. I believe we had 5,000 people in Bangkok, always delivering there in Thailand. I want to congratulate them on a very successful STAR event, which is where the brand, the STAR, was actually born. And they've just done great things to really build recognition into their culture and, and really show the leaders the value that or appreciation that they deserve. So while Thailand was happening, we were kicking off the Hong Kong University. Uh, these are some pictures from uh, Asia World Expo in Hong Kong, where we'll be holding the next Hong Kong University in June, right before our Diamond Discovery trip in Bora Bora. And then we'll be in Macau for Expo in September, and then Macau again in December. But this was electric. All I can say is 
Um, Asia World Expo Arena was packed out. I believe we fit about 12,500 people in that arena. You know, fully sold out event as usual. Just a, a great experience. The energy was tremendous. Um, all of our greater China markets are just having a, a huge month this month, um, as well as the close to last month. So continued success in Hong Kong and our greater China markets. Want to congratulate our, our president of greater China, Robin Lee, of course, his entire team there and all of our diamonds. We sat there, uh, we visited the office in Hong Kong where we did the interview with Capital Magazine. And I was sitting there just literally so humbled to be sitting in a room with 90 diamonds. We had a diamond meeting outside the Hong Kong office there in, in Kowloon and there were 90 diamonds in the room. And um, it was no holds barred, to be honest with you. There was just great collaboration, feedback, and um, a lot of strategic planning that we've done with the diamonds there. So really excited about the leadership we have in this market and those really committed to continue to grow the market. We've only just begun in Greater China. Big things ahead. Want to thank all of our diamonds and directors in that market. Then we flew from Hong Kong over to Sydney, Australia, down under, and it was I believe three years since we've been in Australia too. It's hard to say that because I wish we could be, you know, in all of your markets around the world all the time because we love being with the people, with all of you, feeling your love, your passion, you know, your commitment, the energy that you have when you are living Jeunesse. But it was great to get back to Sydney. It was a beautiful venue. Um, the convention center there, I believe we were one of the first companies to actually hold an event here. Um, 2,000 people, I mean, it was incredible. The Australian people are just so welcoming. Uh, coming off a huge month in February, building into this event, it was absolutely the largest and most successful event that we've ever held in Australia. Got to give it up to the Kiwis that flew over from New Zealand as well, and I'm so honored to have one of our guest panelists joining us from down under this morning, her time, to tell us a little bit more about that record month of February where Australia crossed over 13 million Australian dollars, 10 million US dollars for the month, and then the build up into that conference and what became a historic event for Australia and New Zealand. So I'd like to welcome our general manager, Rachel McFinish. Thanks for hanging out with us. No problems. Thank you, Scott. Look, f leading into the event, there was so much excitement. Coming off the back of a 13 million Australian dollar month was just, that was massive for us here. February for us saw 16 new rubies, seven new emeralds, over 200 new sapphires and a diamond in the making, which we have just confirmed at the end of March has actually achieved diamonds so you know we're very very proud there so we'll be communicating that shortly um you know i think for us this event there was a real sense of ownership for a lot of the distributors um it was a very special event to us it wasn't just our annual conference it was our fifth anniversary celebration and it was a, an event for us to be able to celebrate our success and our growth and development of this market over the last five years when I actually sat down to look at the numbers when preparing for the event, you know, I was actually astounded by the actual numbers. It's not until you look at these things that you really think, wow, you know, when we launched in 2012 up until now, we have had a, a sales growth of 884%, which is, you know, just amazing, you know, and it's something that, you know, the field have been so proud of. You know, and we celebrated this with a world-class event. You know, coming out of coming out of that event, there's just people with a renewed vision, a renewed focus. Everybody is so excited about the Project 8 launch. Um, it's a great fit for our market. We actually put together a pilot group in the lead-up to our conference um, so we could showcase some of the amazing results on stage. And the results in just a 30-day trial were astronomical. You know, we had we had people losing over a meter in in thirty days. You know, the results are just astronomical. You know, it just shows what's achievable when you have world class products. One of one of the other um, partnerships that we we entered into, which you know is really really close to my heart, was a local Jeunesse Kids charity called Little Friends. And what we're working together in doing with this charity is 
we have actually sponsored a launch of their scholarship program. So the scholarship program will be called Little Friends Scholarships Powered by Jeunesse Kids. So that, that for us is just so exciting. And, you know, it, everyone within the field is just getting involved and really working with this charity in helping better the lives of children in this market. So all in all, you know, the event was a massive success. As you said, Scott, the, the feedback we have gotten from the field is, you know, it's in all the events they've been to, in being involved in other companies, this is one of the best they've attended. So, you know, I thank you and the founders for being here, not being here for three years. Everyone was also very excited to, to hear. So I thank you and, yeah, I just, I really look forward to what's, what's coming in the next couple of months um, and the, the power of Jeunesse. Thank you, Rachel. I know it was a special moment for us all to be able to be back there. And for, you know, for myself, Isabel, my mom, Randy, it's just, it's so inspirational to get to these events, to see the growth. I mean, not being there, you know, for three years, you look at the development and how many leaders have really discovered themselves uh, through Jeunesse. It's incredible. You see people that would never step foot on that stage that are getting up there and just bringing so much you know, value and motivation and inspiration. It's just incredible for us to witness. And, you know, for all of you hanging out and joining us today, I can tell you that your success stories are absolutely what inspire me every single day just to continue to match your efforts and to continue to, to seek to, to exceed your expectations, not just meet your expectations. So I want to congratulate you, Rachel, on a tremendous job there. Congratulations on the record month back in February. And, um, of course, a very successful and happy fifth anniversary. And uh, super excited about the Zen Project 8 movement happening in Australia and all the growth and everything we're seeing. So thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. All right. We also had events happening in Southeast Asia. We had the Star event in Malaysia, I believe, um, I believe Chris Cooper, our regional director for Asia Pacific, Middle East and Africa was back home. He's living in KL now, was at the Star event in Malaysia, starting to see things pick up in Malaysia this month. And then way over in Eastern Europe, we had a Discover Jeunesse happening in our number one growth market from February to March, Istanbul and Turkey. So we've got a beautiful office there, new general manager in place, a lot of high quality leadership and pretty explosive growth happening in Turkey right now. And I know one of our guest panelists who's actually in the picture there, uh, front and center on this slide, was uh, able to witness and really take part in this incredible event and what's happening there in the Turkey market. He's someone that's traveling throughout the region, working hand in hand with all of you, supporting you, helping you to achieve your goals uh, through Jeunesse and really continue to elevate your game and someone who's just truly committed to your success. So I'd like to welcome our Director of European Sales, Alex Grapoff, to tell us more about what's going down in Turkey. Yes, thank you so much, Scott, and hello, Jeunesse world. I mean, it's, it's such an honor to be with incredible team from Australia, and I've been watching Brazil on Facebook, and you know, you guys set the bar so high. So, I mean, we, we got to up our game in Amsterdam, so congratulations <laughs> to you. I mean, that was, I don't know how you pulled that up, but congratulations, so cool. So, yeah, I mean, Turkey is unbelievable. So, Turkey is strategically very important, so we know it connects Europe with Asia. So what we've witnessed the last few months is not anything short of miraculous. So we had a major event at the beginning of March, which Scott just showed the slide, biggest event in Turkey history. And I mean, it's, it's phenomenal to see. And then the growth has been incredible. And I mean, I just want to thank the Turkish people. I mean, there's some of the nicest, some of the greatest culture, and it's, it's in their blood to be giving, to be servants. So I'm not surprised at all the success. And I mean, we had so much success that I had to come back at the end of March for another major event with 600 plus people. And right now we're planning an event on May 6th and we're anticipating over 2000 people. I mean, this will be one of the biggest events in Europe. So I'm telling you, there's Turkish people all over the world. One of the biggest populations of Turkish um, people are actually in Germany. So we're very excited about the power of Turkey and how it's connected throughout the world. And we, like you mentioned, we've got a diamond in qualification. We had a ruby that went ruby in like 13 days. I won't say any mm -hmm. names because I'll forget all of our incredible leaders. But yeah. I mean, every day I'm here in Turkey, Turkey. I mean, I 
It's incredible, Scott. We got to bring. We got to get you to Turkey. It's going to blow. Yeah. Up. So I just want well, to thank all of our leaders. Yeah. Absolutely. I know it's a super dynamic market, very explosive. And I'm going to go ahead and say it that Turkey very likely will be our next million dollar market for European region. I think that's right on the horizon. I uh, want to thank you for sharing more of that. And I can't wait to hear about this next event with over 2000 people. I know big things are on the horizon for Turkey. Thank you, Alex. We've also had our Central American Janesh University took place in Panama, had over 2,000 people. I was kind of tuning in on Facebook Live that weekend. Don't remember where I was at the time, but that's a good thing about mobile technology. And that's the good thing about you know all the digital technology we have today with Facebook Live, with these Hangouts, that you can plug into events no matter where you are in the world. So congratulations to our Central American family and a very successful Janesh University. Some great growth happening in Peru and Colombia and Chile. Um, good things happening in Mexico as well. Um, also launched NARA, our collagen product that was actually formulated and manufactured in Brazil is now available in Panama. So I know they're very excited to get their hands on that product. And since we're talking about Latin America, yes, I did just get home. I guess that was Monday morning. It feels, it's just been a whirlwind, guys. But um, I can say in my 12-year career, I don't know that I've ever been more excited to go to an event than I had for our uh, Brazil one-year anniversary event. My first time to Rio, and uh, it was also the grand opening of our very own Jeunesse Arena. And these are some pictures that will um, just kind of put it in perspective. We had over 17,000 people packing out the Jeunesse Arena, and Isabel and I left the hotel Friday night. The event didn't start till 9 p.m., didn't finish till 1 a.m., 1.30 a.m. We had a very famous, iconic Brazilian singer, Anita, performing that night after the event. But Isabel and I pulled out uh, the hotel about three minutes down from the arena, and we saw on the horizon Jeunesse Arena all lit up, and we had tears running down our cheeks. We were so emotional about you know just how far we've come as a company and it's just a testament to all of you to, to all of you that are living Jeunesse getting out there and just so dedicated to building your business sharing these life-changing products with the world and representing our brand and our culture so well but um, you can see we had to uh, we had to splurge a little bit and do the roof as well so you can see the Jeunesse arena uh, sign on the roof we did a ribbon cutting there at the arena uh, next slide, you can see we had the, the anniversary cake. We had uh, Double Diamond Scott Olson visiting. We had Double Diamond Samson Lee visiting for this event. Of course, my mom and Randy were there. Uh, some pictures of uh, some of our local diamonds. Uh, Kyle Fernau, Beto was recognized as a new diamond. We had Marcelo on stage. I'm forgetting someone, but uh, I'll let uh, our next speaker share a little bit more about what has happened this month coming out of that event, how many rank advancements and some of the big things that are happening. Did a really touching um, partnership with Jeunesse Kids, and I love the cause-driven focus behind everything that we're creating there in Brazil. It's just a beautiful thing to see. It was an emotional experience for everybody in attendance. Uh, some more pictures here from you know, some of the people taking part in this event. And, you know, when Isabel and I came out on that stage, they broke out into this beautiful song talking about how they're so proud to be Brazilian. And it was like a moment that, you know, I just looked up and just counted our blessings because I thought, you know, how special is the energy? How special is the love in this country for everything we stand for here at Jeunesse? And it was just so inspiring for us to be able to see all the people walking across that strip stage, tapping into their potential, maximizing and having great success in Brazil. We also launched a couple new products, two new flavors of Nevo, our flawless skin brightener. But to tell you more about that event, to tell you more about the experience of holding an event with 17,000 people in our very own Jeunesse Arena, launching two new products, not only having Anita, we also had UFC champion Anderson Silva in the house. Uh, it was great to meet him backstage. But um, to tell you more about what's happening down south of the border in Brazil, I'd like to welcome a guy that um, I'll never forget our interview. We just had, I mean, we hit it off from the start. I felt his 
his um, you know passion for this industry of network marketing and um, you know just it's been tremendous to see how quickly he's transitioned and and built such a strong confidence from the leaders and traveling throughout Brazil making it happen partnering and working hand in hand to help other people have success in Jeunesse I'd like to welcome our general manager Marcel to tell us a little bit more about what happened at this one year anniversary. Thanks so much, Scott. I'm emotional, so emotional to listen to you. Beautiful, beautiful things happening. Hello, everyone. What a special evening here, no? I'm very happy to be here again with you guys one more time, especially in this month that we have celebrated our first anniversary. Like Scott uh, says, uh, it's look like it was yesterday that we had our first interview and after that, we celebrate our fashion opening one year ago, and now this very special event for everyone, uh, everybody, you know. We have celebrated our first anniversary in a very special Brazil way. Full house, a lot of happiness, recognition, and for sure, a lot of learning, you know. You enjoy this moment, like Scott says. But... Uh, before we started to make this happen, 17,000 distributors, we worked a lot since January until end of March because we did uh, 13 discovers, uh, traveling for 13 different cities in Brazil, working hard, uh, working hard, talking about this event. It was amazing, this strategy, because we received, we, we finished our ticket sales one month before the event so it was amazing <laughs> a lot of, uh, we had uh, we had feeling bad because there is a lot of people wish to go and don't have space no and but it's okay people can see by facebook by our social media our event but for two days we have lived intensely this event in the first day like scott says we celebrate the official open of juness arena the first arena from Juness. This arena is the biggest from Latin America, multi-use arena. You can imagine here in Brazil, everybody talking about Juness and about our arena because uh, we had a lot of special events. We will have now Ed Sheeran, Ariana Grande, UFC, all around the world, everybody will see Juness Arena and much and much more uh, shows and event that it will be there this year so for us it's so excited we have like we have the participation of scott and isabel our president miguel beas gustavo beltran our diamond and thousands and thousands of distributors that are in love with our company the the mood was amazing the mood was amazing we have a very special launch in this evening like scott says nivo and everybody loved Nivo. Nobody talked about other products this, this week in Brazil. Also, we recognize our Safira, Safira and Lead, the Star Maker and Star Pacer, everything on Friday in our first night. To the end this night, we had a very special way. We had a big concert of Anita, one of the most famous singers in Brazil at the moment that she rocks. She made everybody dance and celebrate our success. All the time she says, come on, Juness, come on, everybody. <laughs> yeah. It was amazing. And the second day, the crowd were even more excited. I believe, I believe because they had already bought their combos since so many sales and incentives. The energy of the crowd were just amazing. The energy Saturday, I can't, I can't talk. Only who felt this energy, you know? We had our founders telling a uh, beautiful history. It's first time uh, Randy uh, came to Brazil and your history uh, was amazing. Everybody be emotional you know, in, in this moment. Scott and Elizabeth spoke about the vision, about the culture, belief, and what we can expect from Juness around the world and in Brazil to the future. It was a great moment. Miguel Bez spoke many interesting things about this year, about the combos, about Dubai trip, and now we have the incentive to Bahamas and very special Juness Kids program. And I'm very happy to proud to inform that we one more time again we reached our goal and we will help an important hospital, 
that have more than 1,200 child every day. So uh, we, are, we are so excited because it's our third project from Juness Kids, and each project we go our, we, we made our goal with the help of everybody of, with our distributor. We have prepared from Saturday many surprises to our dear distributor, like Scott says, Anderson Silva, it's champion from UFC. And we talk about, we did, we did other surprise because we announced Yvette Sangalo. Yvette Sangalo is the biggest singer start, the biggest, the number one in Brazil. And she will be there in our next event in Expo in October. I invite everybody around the world to be there with us. And a beautiful, a beautiful place. And and of sure, closing it will be the closing this day. We had like Scott show a giant cake and a lot of samba, Brazilian typic samba. That's right. It was amazing too. So uh, only to say a little a small secret. <laughs> I, I like to talk secret. We did in this event more than double digit in million of dollars. But I need to talk because in our first years to be this in our event. So you can imagine, and to finish, I would like to finish our, I, I don't have how long time I have, Scott, but I will finish <laughs> only to say thank you to our corporate staff that worked really hard to make this event a very special one, the most special one for us. Thanks for all. Uh, in Brazil, Acheco for Orlando, we receive a lot of employee, amazing mm. job. The That's ones great. that were there are the ones that could be there also, no? One, one more time. I would like to congratulate to our distributor that are going to another level and making success every day. We have many distributors that reach more than 1,000 cycle this month, and many other news are coming until the end of April. I'm so excited. So thank you again. One more time, thank you again, Scott and Folders, to transform many lives here in Brazil, and now, uh, of course, around the world. And I say again, this crazy and exciting moment in Brazil is just the beginning. It's just Absolutely. our first year. Also, wait for us. And thank you for a, a lot of Brazilian. It's, it's joining our Eze Connect. And thank you for being here. And thank you for everything Brazilian distributor is doing here in our country. Obrigado, uh, Marcel. Thank you remember, so much. Remember, Scott? Alguém aqui vive Jurás? Yes. <laughs> I've got a video I'm going to be sharing on my Facebook page tomorrow, the next day, that will uh, capture that energy. Trust me. But thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you for your leadership, your passion, your commitment in the market. And like you said, the best is yet to come. We are only just beginning. Brazil is a giant for Jeunesse in the future. So thanks for hanging out with us, Marcel. Wish you a great night and speak to you soon. Some um, more strategic initiatives, you know, I wanted to talk about, obviously, Jeunesse Preferred is something that we launched back at LEED in Las Vegas. This is starting to be rolled out in international markets. Uh, our director of sales for Latin America, Gustavo Beltran, introduced this in Brazil, uh, saving up to 25% on all the Jeunesse products when you auto ship the product. So really exciting to see all the entire Jeunesse product range now available in Jeunesse Preferred. We're also adding a phase two to this program very soon. We'll be bringing it and launching it in Amsterdam and many different markets around the world. Also just announced this past weekend, our new prospector tool, the J-Mobile prospector tool is now available on your iPhone for our North American markets. It's a great technology for really for the new people that are joining your business that maybe you never have a chance to even speak to, to connect with, for them to immediately have the opportunity to expose, increase their exposure of the products, the business opportunity. It's a very intuitive process and technology that's going to put a powerful tool in your new people's hands. Stay tuned for more on that. This very much is being considered as a global initiative down the road as we make enhancements along the way. It will be available on Android soon to come, and we're continuing to enhance that technology. But Jeunesse is always at the forefront of innovative technologies. That's what we're all about as an innovative company. Also, a couple other updates. Our multilingual J kits are now available in North America, English, Chinese, Spanish, and French. Envy is now available, finally crossed the border, registered, ready to go in Canada. And stay tuned because Envy, we have 
uh, earmarked five events in Asia Pacific in August to potentially launch Envy this summer. So coming soon to a market near you, coming soon in a couple weekends at our regional convention in Amsterdam. It's been one year since we've been back to Europe, April 28th through 30th. It is going down at RAI in Amsterdam, expecting over 6,000 people at this event. I'm going to show you three quick slides. We've got our Imperial Diamond Director, Jason Carmenis, our Triple Diamond Director, Teresa Gregory, and look, four, seven, nine double diamonds, and I can't even count how many diamonds that is, but that is showing everyone's commitment to the European market, great growth, and really we're only scratching the surface. We're really just beginning in Europe. It's This will be our largest event in the history of the market, all building up for Expo Elevate in Milan. As you can see through this next slide, Envy will be debuted in Amsterdam, the first market since LEED when it was officially launched. We've also got Mark McDonald coming to this event when we launched Zen Project 8. Everybody's pumped about Zen Project 8, our Zen Prime uh, detox product, our Zen Fuse, our new protein formulation with the True Cell. The entire Project 8 and system is coming to Amsterdam. I know Mark's been working with a pilot group similar to Australia. So we've got um, uh, one of our panelists who you heard from a little bit earlier that I know has spent a lot of time in Europe who's very hands-on uh, planning and preparing for this incredible moment for Jeunesse Europe's history. Alex, why don't you tell us a little bit more about what is to be expected in Amsterdam in a couple weeks? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, it's it's going to be phenomenal. So first and foremost, I mean, right after Berlin, about two months, we sold out our original venue. So can you imagine? We, I mean, right. we were sh we were shocked, but we really weren't. So we were very excited then to partner with Rye, a beautiful uh, world class arena that will really represent the Jeunesse brand. Very excited about that, and we're doing some very very special things, like Scott said. NV's coming, first time ever. Nathan Newman will be in the house. That's right. I mean. That and alone is worth, I mean, you can't put a price on that. So you'll hear from Nathan, you'll see Kasai, you'll see Scott. I mean, we're going to launch NV. I mean, talking to Mark almost every day, we've got an incredible pilot group. Um, we're going to be launching the PC program, and we're doing something very, very fun. So we know our Jeunesse distributors have incredible business talent, but we did a little That's talent right. show. <laughs> That's so right. You should see, we've man, I mean, the, the response is <laughs> so cool. It's, we've seen everything you can imagine. Um, so on Friday night, we're going to do a pre-party. We've got five finalists. So come support, have some fun, get registered early. So we're going to do it's, – it's just going to be incredible. And, and the first time ever, uh, what I'm really proud about is we're going to create an incredible experience. So we want Jeunesse to get into your soul, into your heart. We're going to have an entire experience where you can touch, feel the product, see Mark, see Dr. Amzalog. The staff will be around. Um, it's going to be pretty, pretty special. And like Scott said, we're anticipating – close to 6,000 people. We still got some tickets left and it's not going to last long. So I'm telling you, if you haven't got a ticket, it's it's a complete steal for the value bring to your business. And what I love the most is this is from the brand new person to the seasoned veteran. We're going to have something for everybody. It's going to be a very, very special show. I mean, NV and Zen, I mean, it's going to take us to a level that I think uh, we want to go to a Brazilian type of level. I mean, we want to see, we, we want to see 17,000 people in Milan. Yep. I mean, so it's it's been special, and I want to thank all of our distributors. And right now, I think I mean we have four diamonds in qualification this month. I mean, can you imagine that? And it's, I mean, we're breaking records. The whole event will be basically recognition. We have so many people. But we <laughs> love that. I mean, it's I, the the products are working, the message is working, the vision is working, and we're becoming one of the, the, the one of the best homes in Europe for people that are looking for an opportunity. And Amsterdam will showcase that. And again, it's. It's, it's been so fun to watch, and I just want to thank our team and the leaders, and um, just, you know, hold on tight. It's going to be a show. I'm yeah, ready. buckle your seatbelt. It's going to be an interesting ride coming out of Amsterdam. Thanks for sharing, Alex. Can't wait to see you. Uh, I'll be coming from Asia over to Amsterdam with a quick stop in Dubai, but I know that this is going to be the next stepping stone for Jeunesse Europe. Our vision is $20 million a month plus in this region. I fully believe with the growth happening in Germany, Italy, France, Turkey, you know, all over the region, UK, uh, Northern Europe, Sweden, Austria. I mean, it's just incredible what's happening. I want to thank all the leadership there. It's been one year. I cannot wait to see you guys in Amsterdam. Thanks for hanging out with us, Alex. We'll talk to you soon. We've also got uh, Discover Jeunesse coming, 
event coming up in Malaysia, May 20th on Saturday. We've got that very same weekend, a Janesh University happening in Kiev in the Ukraine. We forget about those CIS countries, big things happening there in Kazakhstan, Russia, Ukraine. Congratulations to you guys. The lifestyle rewards trips, we're about to kick into uh, the lifestyle experience of the summer. I mean, we come into these May and June months and it's like we're traveling all over the world. We've got our Germany trip, Dubai trip, Budapest and Prague, and then Cancun. Thousands of people from our Jeunesse family will be traveling the world, living their dreams, living Jeunesse. I want to congratulate all the winners of the lifestyle rewards trip. We also have our Bringing Hope trip coming up. Uh, this uh, late summer, August 27th, September 3rd, bringing hope at jeunessehq.com. If you want to learn more about our uh, IRCOT Kenya bringing hope trip to visit our Jeunesse Kids Village, we've got the Viva Jeunesse promotion going on for Latin America. Um, travel dates coming up in November, but March 1st through July 31st is the qualification. We already have hundreds and hundreds of people already qualified to win this promotion and go to the Atlantis. And then, of course, the showcase flagship event of the year, Expo Elevate World Tour. First time we've done this. I know everyone's excited. I've already heard from many diamonds that are coming along for the full world tour. We'll be hitting Macau, September 7th through 10th, Bangkok, September 14th through 17th, Milan, October 12th through 15th. Sao Paulo, expecting over 20,000 people October 27th through 29th and bringing it back home and ready to close out the year in record fashion as we do in Jeunesse, November 2nd through 5th in Orlando, Florida. Uh, North America has the Expo Elevate promotion that kicked off April 1st, running five months. We're also running an Elevate promotion for Asia, Pacific, Middle East, and Africa. That started March 1st. And then, of course, tickets are available for Sao Paulo, for um, Milan, there'll be a promotion coming up soon. And then, of course, we'll be opening up ticket sales and uh, more details on the Macau Greater China Expo as well. So with that, lots of updates, lots of action. You know, for me, I'm just, um, I'm just humbled. I feel so fortunate to be surrounded by such incredible talent, servant-driven leaders like all of you who are so committed to our mission to create positive impact in the world. I'm reminded of our vision from 2009. It was to create a culture. And I'm so proud of this culture, really to create a transformational company. And that's what we've created, a company that is transforming hundreds and thousands of lives all around the world. And that's because of all of you leading the charge, getting out there, sharing these products, this is a culture that's based on the right principles, the right values. We're a company with a huge heart, a cause-driven focus to helping people realize and unleash their potential. And I know many people join Jeunesse, they join this industry of network marketing because they have big dreams. I'd encourage all of you to reshape, reshape those dreams as your goals and pursue them with passion. Because let me tell you, a dream is only a dream until you get out there and accomplish it. So get out there reach for your dreams, you know, make things happen in a major way and design the life you want to live with the choices you make. Take control of your destiny. Anything's possible through Jeunesse. Be proud of this company. Be proud of the products. Be proud of the culture, the cause-driven focus, the movement. Be, be proud of this profession of network marketers of network marketing. So with that, I want to close out this month's Exec Connect. I want to thank our guest panelists, our general manager from Brazil, Marcel, general manager from Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, Rachel, and our director of European sales, Alex Grapov. I want to thank our senior director of digital strategy, Kasaya, for hosting this hangout. And with that, guys, we will see you somewhere in the Jeunesse world as we continue to get out there and help other people live Jeunesse. We love you guys. Have an awesome week ahead. See you somewhere in the Jeunesse world. One team, one family, one Jeunesse. Good night from Orlando.